Hello and welcome back to Magic Cat. Today we are back with a crypto video. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be looking at Titan X and giving you guys the latest updates and what I think of Titan X and the current state and where I see it going in the very, very short term future. I hope you guys really enjoy this video and if you do, give this video a like and subscribe if you are new to my channel. Okay, other than that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be highlighting uh, one of the latest Jake's tweets. Um, you know, they added another kind of L segment to the chart itself, which is the BOT, the build on Titan X. So those are basically, uh, and right now it is standing under 1%, just under 1% at 0.82%. And those are basically, as Jake kind of explained it, uh, it tracks all the liquid Titan X existing in other protocols, right? Um, so Titan X slash protocol pools and smart contracts so yeah this is really great because obviously guys there's a lot of things i made a lot of videos of different stuff you got helios you got you know blaze so many other things i think more than a handful right now i can't make a video on every single project but do let me know on which one i should definitely cover in the near future um so yeah pretty pretty interesting stuff but aside from that ladies and gentlemen today what i want to do you guys to kind of talk about is literally I'm going to tell you guys what I think, okay, is we're looking at the chart right now, it's been lowest since like kind of day one really, right, kind of, you know, bearish, not a lot of volume compared to, you know, the past uh, month, but there is a kind of, I don't know what to call it, a signal, a bit, a bullish signal really that I want to let you guys know, because as you guys already know, and I preach this multiple times, that green ga candle, that God green candle will show up when we all least expect it, even me, right? Even after today's video, I cannot predict when it will happen. But all I can tell you, that day is coming sooner. Not financial advice, we're going to be showing us three ways on how to kind of identify that, you know what I mean? Um, and I'm going to be using some technical analysis here, you know, kind of one of my favorite technical analysis. But if you really think about it, ladies and gentlemen, sometimes, honestly, you don't need to do TA because you got to buy the fear. You know, when everyone is most fearful, these are the times to accumulate. Okay, miners, like keep it real, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, miners, they're not that profitable to make unless you're gonna, you know, create it over 200 days plus, right? And then you'll do a 2x basically. Okay, we look at, for example, even though, by the way, it's still in the past 20, 24 hours, 170k were spent on miners. That's still actually amazing. This, this project is still doing quite well. Deflation, it's not that deflationary. Okay, pretty, pretty good. Like, you know what I mean? User growth, yes, it's slowly kind of uh, not really you know not plateauing but it's really the rate of growth is reducing and this is to be expected but let me tell you this ladies and gentlemen okay i want i want to let you guys know that titan x i truly believe is a leverage play on ethereum okay now one of the reasons why we're kind of like you know almost in this consolidation area which we are we are moving sideways now today we grew eight percent okay so we are kind of like in this um, what would you call it? Consolidation, you know, in this runway, which is a bearish, which is a bullish signal. Don't get me wrong. It is a bullish signal. Okay. So let's put a horizontal line just over here. Okay. I'm going to put that at a yellow. I'm going to keep this, you know, for the future for myself. Um, but yeah, we're going to be going over TA, but I want to also let you guys know that times like these is where, you know, staking shares are really going to be cheap, okay? Right now, I have, you know, just over 1.3K worth of shares, which is great. And, uh, you know, I might buy some more shares into this, but in the future, I know it's going to become more and more valuable to get those shares, okay? It's going to be very, very expensive. And you guys also need to understand, once Ethereum goes up, our share, um, our payouts will increase in value because it's holding it in ETH. It's not holding it in a stable coin. So that's what you need to realize. And this is my next point. This brings me to my next point is that Titan X is a leverage play on Ethereum. Therefore, Ethereum, I feel like once it goes back up to those ranges, you know, 2.5K plus or one, once it goes up with a bull market, Titan X is going gonna, is gonna to be overexposed to that green and it's going to go even higher, multiple more X's than Ethereum. Do you guys understand? Okay, this is why what I mean by Titan X is indeed a leverage play on Ethereum. Okay, one of the other reasons why that is my conclusion. And one of the reasons why we can have a breakout very, very soon. Okay, it might have even started from today because it is up 8.9%. Okay, and honestly, if you are advising me, 
if you are one of those people who you still want to make money with Titan X, but miners, you know, it's too long to wait 200 days to make 2x. What should you do now aside from staking? Which staking is kind of expensive, right? For example, if you think about um, how much you want to put in to make X amount of money from staking payouts, which by the way, is one of the best ways you don't want to miss out on staking, not financial advice, the stake, the stake payouts. Okay. Aside from that, I really do advise you guys to look into v3 liquidity pool supply okay i made a video on this go go check it out it's the third secret way to make money on titan x i made a video on that because the volume is still pretty damn good like it's a one-to-one -one ratio from liquidity to volume ratio right at some point it used to be like uh, a two to three ratio actually uh, you know one one to two or one to three ratio which is really great right when you have liquidity at one million and volume is at like two million or three million that's absolutely amazing Okay, that's where it gets your yields. Now you can obviously either set the ranges or if you don't care about impairment loss because you're there for the long haul, you know, long term yield gain, leave that at, you know, maximum ranges. Okay. And that's something I, I really am considering to jump into because this is a great token. If you're thinking long term with this token, then yes, liquidity supplying is the right way for you, really. But aside from that, ladies and gentlemen, okay, we're gonna do some technical analysis. So if you are new to this kind of sector. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain it briefly. I'm not going to give you the history of XYZ, but we're going to start with one of my favorites, MACD, the Moving moving Average Conversions Diversions. Okay. Um, again, I can't, I can't, I'm not going to explain what every single part is, but you have a histogram, you got a zero line, and you got two lines, okay, that have crossovers once you see those intersections happen. Okay. And the histogram keeps it very simple where you don't need to look at those lines. And I really like to see it because, look, we are in that green area. OK, so you really look at that as one factor to think of when making a decision, because you want to make those guesses into what educational guesses, educate, educated guesses. OK, um, so, yeah, this is one element. It is on the bullish side. The last time we were on that bullish side was back right here when it started. Right. And it was indeed a great time to buy. And then right there, as it starts declining, that was a great time to kind of. So, so you have to use it because obviously the MACD uses historical data. So you might think, okay, it's kind of limited in sense. And this is why I'm telling you, use that as one of your factors that will, you know, kind of, you know, one of your factors to make a decision. Okay. What is the second factor? So something that I think really goes hand to hand with the MACD is the RSI, Relative Strength Index. Okay. This one is kind of another easy one to use and learn on. Oh my God, look at that. This is absolutely in the oversold area. And I'm going to explain what this, there's two areas uh, where, you know, the MAC, the, the RSI kind of helps you, right? And it is, if if the line is over generally, if it's over 60 or over 70, sometimes you can change that. It really depends on bear market slash bull market uh, times. But right now we are literally, right now the MACD is at the 34 and even, you know, a few days ago it was at the 29%, 29 RSI index number, right? And this means if you are under in that 30 minus range, you're in the range where this token is being oversold, which is a bullish signal for you to accumulate, okay? Or, you know, you take that information what you will. It literally just means it's being oversold. Doesn't mean that it's a bullish or it's bearish. You know, you have to fill in the blanks, really. And anytime it's over like 60 or over 70, that means it's overbought. This is where, okay, sometimes you can you know, change your, your trading bots to say, okay, if it is reaching 60 or 70 plus index, RSI index, let's sell our position. It really depends if you're swing trading, you know, day trading, whatever. But in our case right here, ladies and gentlemen, we're, we're talking about, okay, is it a great time to buy? Are we in the low? Are we just about to have a break breakout? Okay. And I think we are. This is another factor that says that we are in the oversold. Okay. We are in the oversold. So keep that in mind. Now I'm going to bring you guys a third and final indicator that I'm going to be using, uh, which is the EMA exponential, uh, EMA cross the exponential um, moving average, I believe that's what it's called. And this one is another great one. And you can kind of, you know, uh, tweak this. Now, I, what I'm going to be using, because we're looking at short term kind of um, signals. So I'm going to be using a combination of five on the short line and nine on the sh on the long line. And I believe, you know, those are just different um, EMA 
kind of values or lines that it generates and then there's crosses that you can kind of vaguely see i'm going to try to change the, those cross lines actually um so let's do the style let's do crosses let's put them on white let's kind of make them uh, slightly smaller um and then yeah you can barely see them actually okay let's make them a little bit you know like that and then the long i'm going to put that as red and the short i'm going to put that as blue so you guys can really really see um and yeah basically i want you guys to understand any time the blue line is over the red line that is bullish okay because that's the short term line the blue line is our short term line edit every time it is over it that means it is bullish okay every time anytime the red line or the long line is above the other line it is bearish so right now we are definitely the past month and a half plus has been in that bearish you know i mean that could have been a signal for a lot of us right here like imagine right here we saw this crossover you see that x right there that could have been a good opportunity for swing traders or whatever midterm traders to be like okay that's my time to take profits and let's hold back till the next green signal okay because we did have that call but what i want to stress okay this is really like kind of the climax of this video ladies and gentlemen okay is literally we are about to reach a crossing point and you need to understand it's kind of very hard to kind of cross two times in a row so if we crossed it once i feel like we will have a whole period of uh, of bear, of bullishness okay so i think that's what you guys need to understand using all those three factors which by the way i think the rsa rsi ema and macd go really well hand to hand um together right and then yeah basically that's kind of my main point of the video right now is the fact that we are coming very close to a crossing point where the blue line is going to go over it creating a bullish signal for you know what i mean for whatever reason you're going into titan x are you trying to find the best price to enter staking to make your best you know value for your buck in the staking pool or are you trying to just hold titan x liquid for potential projects because honestly guys when you ask me looking at market cap like this what are the liquidity like that which by the way liquidity has been increasing even though the price has been going down great the second thing i wanted to say is that with market cap like this okay there is a hundred sec 100x potential there is there is ladies and gentlemen because what a 10x from here is a hundred million another 10x from that is a billion so 10x times 10x is a hundred x therefore i think it is a potential okay this is one of the greatest times literally the price is as low as it was back in day one ladies and gentlemen i hope you guys found this video useful okay um again this is just tea at the end of the day yes your trend is your friend and history usually rhymes okay so uh yeah use that as your own you know factors but most importantly try to use the factor of sentiments okay a lot of things are being built on top of titan x ethereum is going to be a huge leverage for uh, or actually titan x is a leverage on ethereum so if ethereum goes up you need to understand that this will go up multiple more folds than ethereum itself so keep that in mind i am bullish on titan x you know what i mean the my miners been mining i've been really happy with it now am i going to create more miners not as of now okay what i've been doing is i've been increasing my position in the staking uh shares okay I, I think i actually doubled it when we were uh, you know really really low and i think it, it, it did really well my 90 day payout my 30 my 30 day payout was really nice i was happy <laughs> okay so yeah titanx is doing this thing you know what i mean this is true DeFi, and i'm super excited for the future honestly let me guy let me know what you guys think ladies and gentlemen aside from that go to my twitter and give me a follow i want to reach through i'm literally two followers away from 300 so yeah i really hope you, you guys learned something new today about titanx don't don't be fearful okay make moves when the rest is not that's how you make differentiating you know decisive movements that most people are not doing and this is what will give you not average returns okay so if you want average returns just do whatever anyone else is doing buying when it's already all-time high or buying when it's already on its way up you know fomo okay so uh, yeah really think about it like it's kind of that you know black sheep mentality really okay keep that in mind ladies and gentlemen when it's fearful we gotta do okay don't sit are you gonna sit back and watch anyways we're gonna keep it there ladies and gentlemen i hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, i'll see you in another video take care